Medication dosage calculation question number two. A patient requires 80 milligrams of Lasix every morning. The unit has 20 milligram tabs of Lasix available. How many tabs do you give? Just gonna start this question by clarifying, when I say the unit, I just mean the floor you're working on or the long-term care home you're working on or wherever area you're working at. Whatever they supply is uh, like, wherever the area you work and supplies is what I'm referring to. So a patient requires 80 milligrams, 20 milligram tabs of Lasix are available. How many tabs do you give? Let's pull up our formula and uh, figure this out together. If you have a good idea of what you're doing, pause the video, try to figure it out yourself, and then play the video after. So we've got the desired dose, amount on hand, and vehicle. Start with the desired dose. The desired dose is obviously going to be 80 milligrams because the patient requires 80 milligrams of Lasix. The unit has 20 milligram tabs available, so that's going to be your amount on hand. You have access to 20 milligram tabs. So you're going to put 20 milligrams. And obviously the vehicle is going to be a tab because it's 20 milligrams and one tab. So you're going to put one tab as the vehicle. That's how they're going to be getting this medication. Now, all we have to do is solve this formula because it's all filled in. So 80 divided by 20 is going to give you four milligrams are going to cross out and you're going to multiply that by your vehicle, which is one tab. So four multiplied by one tab is four tabs. Let's go back and back check this. Four multiplied by 20 gives you your orig original, what the desired dose is, which would be 80. Keep practicing, like, subscribe, comment, try another question. It's not going to come easy, but uh, with more practice, the easier it will become.